and a civil society organization, Clean Foundation, is proposing for the final conclusion of all elections-related matters or cases either in their appeal or Supreme Courts before a candidate takes oath of office. They say these will not only restore confidence in the electoral process, but also build confidence in the judiciary and democracy in Nigeria. Plus TV Manuel Ahijene completes the report. The 2023 general elections may have come and gone, but its outcome raised questions with aggrieved losers rushing to the courts to seek redress and to claim perceived stolen mandates. In its efforts to ensure that the process is not only transparent and fair, the Clean Foundation took a painstaking effort by deploying 38 observers to 18 states of the country, including the Federal Capital Territory, to observe proceedings. It also came up with its policy brief on the outcome of the 2023 election petition tribunal with some far-reaching recommendations for future elections. And we're hoping that as we move into a next cycle of election, um, the judiciary will be there for the people. They'll be able to um, be more um, assertive. But again, let me conclude by saying that beyond all the concerns that people have, people equally think that judiciary needs to be protected because we think there is overbearing influence of politicians on them. Uh, you remember we heard of a politician that say, uh, uh, we, we know whom we know and who you know and all of this uh, language. We, we think it shouldn't have been in the first instance. So these are kind of signals that um, we're worried about. And I'm happy that um, we, we hope that when we share this document, and I know a number of civil society have done review of the whole electoral uh, circle that the government will listen to us and together we'll be partners in reviewing our electoral process and make it more acceptable and um, less persons will go to court because when you see people going to court it's because people disagree and virtually over 60 percent to 70 or 80 percent of uh, members of the national assembly had one case court case or the other and so in several other states so these are some of the concerns that we hope this policy document will help address. We reported about 38 election petition observers across 18 states. And uh, just to let you know that we didn't cover all the states. And so to also let you know that our focus was more on presidential and gubernatorial uh, 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 tribunals or cases that were in court. Yes, there were instances where we also went uh, a little bit outside uh, this particular framework. Uh, so 18 states plus the FCT. And one of the things that we did was to use a platform that were very easy for us to collect data, and we call it the Clean Mobile App. Uh, it was on this platform that we scripted uh, our questions, and then, of course, the data collectors uh, used it to uh, transmit data to the central database. The data collection has actually gone beyond the um, archaic or the very old-fashioned. And because we know too well that uh, whatever information that we were going to harvest from the field, we're going to basically influence policies and we use as tools for advocacy. So we were very much careful, uh, one, with the selection of those who went, two, with our methodology, and thirdly, the integrity of the document and the data. A major take home from the report is a call for an amendment to the Electoral Act 2022 by the National Assembly to ensure that all disputes before the court are concluded before the swearing in of candidates. The group also recommended judicial independence, especially in the area of funding and the appointment of judicial officers, which they say should be done by the National Judicial Council without interference by the executive. In order to even lessen the burden on the, on the judiciary, the legislature needs to look at some aspects of the law and mitigate some of these problems. When an election is conducted, before somebody is sworn in, either as a governor or as a member of House of Reps, I mean National Assembly or State, State House of Assembly, even the presidents, they must finish with election matter. I don't know whether they have to shift the election process backward so that we look at about six month gap before the swearing. I don't know how it can be done, but we need to change that law because the truth is that somebody who is already being elected has is going to have access to so many things. When they are going to court, you go with retinue of your heads, you go with your community, they don't want to leave the place. So there will be pressure. 
whether we like it or not. But once you have not, you know, been sworn in, you are just like ordinary citizen like the other person. And you are on a level playground. But there is an advantage after somebody might have been sworn in, you know, over the person who has been petitioned. And it's really way down because you now have access to money, you know, which the petitioner may not have. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.